Hello guys, today we've got another question of the day video, as usual for this month. And today's question of the day is, um, did the world start with the Big Bang or the story of creation? Okay, um, first of all I want to explain what both of them are. Um, first of all the Big Bang is um, how one side of how um, the, the world was started to believe. So. Um, it's basically some elements that um, combined together in space, made an explosion, and somehow created the universe naturally. Um, that's the scientific um, scientific belief from how the world started. And then we've got the story of creation, in which it, in, in which many religious people believe um, it is it's a religion um, that God created the earth. Starting with Adam, Eve, the animals and plants. Um, okay. So there, there's the introduction. Okay, and today's question there comes from BBC News Europe. Okay, I'm going to read the um, first few uh, introduction paragraphs as usual. Um, it, sa it says, Some of Europe's most prominent scientists have opened a debate with philosophers and theologians. Oh, over the oranges, or over the oranges of everything, orange. Oh, sorry, orange, oranges of everything, everything. Okay. Okay. The event in Switzerland is described as a common ground between religion, science, over how the universe began. Okay. There, there's a. I'm just going to read a little bit of the paragraph there. So, there you go. There's there's the introduction paragraph. Okay. So. Scientific people believe it started with the Big Bang. Some religious people believe it started with the story of creation. Okay, I'm going to um, um, give a few views for both sides. Then I'm going to read a few comments and see what other the public's opinion is. And then I'm going to come to my opinion. Then we're going to round up the video with a summary. Then end it. Okay. So, um, some I'm going to give five reasons why to believe the Big Bang and five reasons to believe the story of creation okay a reason to believe the big bang will be um you know god's never sh showed up and um, it's always been life without god so there's no proof that god is real so the only thing we can think of is natural space second um would be that um there's asteroids floating on the outside of the earth um, the reason that is, um, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure, God wouldn't have um, just thrown that in randomly. So that gives us another reason to to believe the Big Bang. Um, third of all, um, a lot of bad riots happened on the earth. <coughs> yeah, a, lot, a lot of people think um, you know, they're just not that they come naturally in the brain. Um, if God was real, he it wouldn't be that um, nasty to reality. Okay. Um, fourth reason to believe in the Big Bang theory is that um, <coughs> um, scientists have, have um, done tests um, with elements and um, compounds and things like that, and um, they've come up with a suggestion that it, with their professional equipment, that it may have started with the Big Bang. And finally, um. There are patterns that scientists have found with the alignment of the stars and some other complicated business, which gives um, some positive evidence that it may have started with the Big Bang. Okay, now we're going to go with the story of creation. Okay, po um, po uh, reason to believe about the story of creation. Well, if you look at the human body, and we have our correct parts to function and live. If the world started with a big bang, then surely naturally all these parts wouldn't have formed perfectly. You know, we might be walking on our guts or something, you know. So scientists um, no sorry, religious people believe that there's a god to create our, our bodies, you know, to a perfect shape. Okay, second of all, um things have been left over from religion and time, okay? So time's gone on and people have found like signs that Adam and Eve might have been real. Okay? 
people have signs that um, it might have been real. Okay. Third is more evidence. Okay. So some priests from history have witnessed something from a religious figure, and then that, and as that time passed, they've recorded that and brought it to today. Okay. Fourth. Fourth, you might believe in, in the story of creation is that, that um, um, also there's another scientific test where scientists can believe in this. There's a particular alignment of the earth where the rivers flow and things like that. That you know, it looks as though it's been man made. Because some things, um, scientists think that um, it couldn't have been made just by a human. Um, so yeah, we think that God, us, us, like a God or someone could have made that. And finally, and fifth, um, would be that. Uh, you know, um, um, let's have a look at um, animals, yeah? Um, now, usually space carries, um, yes, it does carry di different sorts of elements, but only one kind in, in its own kind. And um, they believe that it couldn't have carried enough elements to um, fill every single animal, like tigers, lions, uh, parrots, Zebras, rabbits, foxes, anything, any animal on earth you can think of, and um, they don't believe there's enough elements to go on to form all these animals. So there's the positive. Uh, I mean, the reason to believe Big Bang Theory is in, in reason to believe the story of creation. Okay, now we're going to look at some comments, just one or two. Um, <coughs> um, cunt, um, sorry, cunt, Largerson says, um, you may as well put scientists on one side of the street. Theologians on the other, some on the other side get them to throw tomatoes at each other. Will be funnier and more productive. Okay, that guy's had a bit of a joke, and he said, "You know, God's throwing tomatoes at the theologians. You know, is like he, he's saying, of course, God's real. You know, this happened, this happened, so what? So that guy's just a religious believer." Okay, next, um. Ruining what created God and don't say he's always been there. It's meaningless. <coughs> Maybe we are in inacceptable of understanding. A cat probably doesn't understand trigonometry. So that person never said thought, no. All this is natural because why should we humans all be on this earth? And then there's a magical God up there. Okay, so this relates back to the question, is God real? And um, my opinion would be, I believe in the Big Bang Theory because um, it seems more natural and realistic to the human life. Okay, then thanks guys, thanks for watching my video, subscribe to my channel, um, like my videos and I'll see you, um, I think, yeah, tomorrow with a uh, question of the day video. <coughs> Bye!